Ephesians 5, verses 6 to 14. Nobody should deceive you with stupid ideas. God's anger comes down on those who are disobedient because of that kind of thing. So you shouldn't have anything to do with them. You were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. So live your life as children of light. Light produces fruit that consists of every sort of goodness, justice and truth. Therefore, test everything to see what is pleasing to the Lord. And don't participate in the unfruitful actions of darkness. Instead, you should reveal the truth about them. It's embarrassing to even talk about what certain persons do in secret. But everything exposed to the light is revealed by the light. Everything that is revealed by the light is light. Therefore, it says, wake up, sleeper, get up from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. The Word of the Lord. The season of Advent is all about waiting. Not only are we waiting for Christmas when we celebrate the time that God came to earth to save humanity, but we're also waiting for the fulfilment of the promise that God the Father made, that his son will return a second time. There are lots of things that we wait for in our lives. We wait for the birth of a child. We wait for a birthday party or even an exam. But whilst we're waiting, one of the things we do is we prepare. And that's what I think Paul's talking about when he speaks to the Ephesians, reminding them to prepare for the time when they will see God face to face. We think of Simeon and Anna faithfully waiting for the Messiah to come. But now it's our turn. But one day we won't be able to say, oh, I'll get my life in order tomorrow, because tomorrow might not come. So Paul is encouraging us to wake up and realise that we need to make sure our lives are in order. He tells us that our life before and after conversion should be so different that it should even be a starker contrast as dark and light. So maybe this Advent we could do well to ask God which area of our life he wants us to give him as a gift, to hand over to the light. And no matter how long we've been a believer, there's always more areas that we can give over to him. So can we ask the question today, if Jesus was to return today, am I ready?